I'm in Yangon, Myanmar, you know, just chilling, doing my thing, doing some good deeds and working on a commercial. Just keeping up with my training and, you know, just fighting in the ring. Hold tight, don't let go. Hold tight, don't let go. One day, I was just eating my lepato and an email came in and it was from AFL. So I opened the email and... Huh? Maybe why? It was an invitation to travel to New York City and to fight in one of their co-main event fights. And I was like, yo, fighting? Traveling? New York City? I went to my coach right away and my coach wasted no time to get me ready. We began training camp right away. <laughs> I had exactly five weeks to train before the fight. So three weeks in Yangon and about two weeks in New York. The funny story is after training for three weeks, my fight almost got cancelled. My original opponent who I was supposed to fight at 155 got into some sort of medical emergency with some infection so the fight was pulled off and it was four days before my flight and I was a little bit irritated and frustrated because everything was ready to go and luckily two days later after they kind of cancelled my fight, AFL said, hey, there's another fighter that you could fight at but he can only fight at 160 pounds and we're gonna have to do a catch weight where I need to be at 158. And they were like, are you okay with that? Do you wanna go? And I was like, yo, I'm on my way. Training, yeah, go, Next up, two more weeks in New York. One of the first things I needed to do when I arrived was to be represented by a gym in New York City in order to compete in AFL. So I linked up with Heinz Combat Sports, met their head coach, I got to train with their fighters and I had such an amazing experience. Immediately the energy was such a vibe and we all had such a positive connection and I knew this was going to be like a wonderful experience because I got to sharpen my tools, I got to adapt my fighting techniques and I got to learn a bunch of new things in such a short amount of time. And and it was amazing. I loved it. One big lesson here that I learned was that no matter how much you think you're ready, you can always get a little bit better. Losers! <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your journey getting here yes. for the AFL? So I come all the way from basically halfway around the world. I'm from Myanmar. My base foundation, I am a lead weight fighter. So it is the order of nine limbs. So it is very exciting for me to come and 
um, express my skills in the Muay Thai rules and the Muay Thai ring, and I'm very excited to see how far we can go. Several of the folks here on the park have seen your YouTube videos and have called you an inspiration. Oh my god. How do you handle that pressure and ask the co main event for him to fight league season two Saturday fight level? That holy that that warms my heart. I have I am very grateful to all of you guys who watch my uh, videos and all that. I, I'm doing my best to make a statement that if you put your mind towards anything, you can do anything. A year and a half ago I didn't know how to throw a punch. Here I am, halfway around the world in New York City, co-main event. That, that is exciting to me. Any thank yous or shout outs that you wish to get? Sponsors? Sponsors for the EFL. EFL, thank you so much for having me. All the sponsors uh, supporting this show. We, yeah, none of this could have been done without you guys. So appreciate you guys so much. And for the fans, EFL, yo, we're going to have a good time. I will perform my best and I know everybody else will. So thank you guys so much for supporting EFL Promotions. and. Let's get it! Neo Wing competing with full boy tire rolls. My whole main event for the evening. Check us out at Airlift or Fight League. It sucks, man. <laughs>
I'm not gonna lie, it sucks. Um, this feeling of um, loss, it's not, it's not easy. It's my first loss and yeah, it sucks, man. Like, I don't, there, there's no way to like sugarcoat it. It fucking sucks. <laughs> you know, fair and square. No particular reason, you know, no excuses from me. I lost, you know, fair and square. It is what it is. ပြောလို့မြတ်ပါဘူးဒါကတော့ဒါကတော့ဒါပါပဲအနိုင်ရှောင်းဝါးတော့ချိန်မှာပဲပေါ့เนาะအာဒီတပွဲလေးကိုက
Light, now I don't light on light it. <laughs> and conveniently, a little bit right after he said that, I don't know if he manifested it, my coach was looking for fighters to fight in one of the fights. And he teased Ben saying that, hey, you wanna fight? And then I saw his eyes like wide up and looked at me and I was like, yo, sit your ass down, we'll talk first. I told him the reality of fighting, I told him the reality of what could happen, I told him the reality of the training, it's gonna be brutal, everything, everything, and then go to sleep, sleep it off, so that um, he can have a more clear brain on if he actually wants to do it. But he needed to make the decision like the next day because only then he'll have exactly one month of training camp and then he could fight. Next day, he called me with full enthusiasm. Unyo, I am Uten Wen. Me, I'm Gogo Wen Ta. And I'm the part of the winner family, so I am going to strive to win, and that is my answer. Woo! Okay. Ooh! Okay! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Go! Ah! 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 How we feel? I need a few keys. Let's go! Yes! Yes! I recommend boxing, honestly, I really do, because it's such a good outlet to release a lot of energy and you just get really uncomfortable during training. And when you go through a lot of uncomfortable situations by choice, when you get a comfortable situation by life, you kind of go through it easier a little bit. And I don't know if that made sense, but that's just how I kind of deal with my uncomfortable situations by putting myself in a lot of uncomfortable situations by choice. And subconsciously, I think it's, it gets a little easier. That's bro.